Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog again from my parents' home. This video was taken a day before leaving back to our home. In my last video, I had shared few recipes prepared for dinner, and thank you so much for your lovely comments on the dishes. It really means a lot. In today's video, just few glimpses here and there, and couple of recipes that you all could try as well. Momos are my favorite, and my first attempt in preparing it also included. So keep watching. We have lots of fruits and vegetables growing in the garden, and what's more satisfying than eating or cooking with organic food? Chiku plant or the sapota plant, very commonly grown fruit plant, almost in most of the houses in Kerala. At least in all my close relatives' houses, they do have one plant of sapota. It's very tasty to eat as such or make a milkshake. It's now season for fruits like jackfruits and mangoes. We do have a lot in my parents' home. Cutting a jackfruit is quite adventurous if it's at the top. You need to either climb the tree or keep a ladder to reach. I don't know if there's any other way. What my father or uncles do is tie a rope on the jackfruit and someone would be holding the other end of the rope from down. The jackfruit will be cut and the rope will be loosened, slowly letting the fruit down. The one that you cannot reach with a ladder will be put down as such. This is the growth of mango. Flower in the beginning, then start a fruit. And here's my father ready to pluck the mango which actually wasn't ripe but looking from down to top it looked ripe because of the change in color. And here's another fruit which I had shown once in a vlog a year back. This is star fruit. As the name says, when we slice, it's a star shape. Summer is approaching and it's already hot these days. Refreshing drinks are what we need all time. In my last video, I had shown avil milk which is very refreshing. Do check out the link in the description box for getting the recipe. And now with the star fruit, you could just quench your thirst by making a drink. It has a very, I would say, a striking flavor that makes you fall in love with this drink. Very refreshing and very tasty. The very ripe ones will be a bit sweet, so while blending, you don't have to add more sugar. This is the simplest form to prepare the juice. I would definitely want to try more versions by adding lemon or soda. Here, I have blended the fruit pieces with sugar. Then strain and mix in ice cubes. You may add little water only if needed. My father waiting for the drink. He is very impressed. My father drank three glasses. While mom and Nesri was busy on cutting the jackfruit, me and my father went to pluck more star fruits as there were plenty and if not taken soon, it would go bad. There was still more on top which wasn't reachable, so after plucking a bunch, we stopped for the time being. <laughs> My mom loves to cook a dish with the raw jackfruit, which I think is a traditional recipe passed on by my grandmother. I'm not a big fan of this, but on this day I wanted to taste it. 
raw jackfruit will have seeds in that's tender so that too is added in the pressure cooker add water and salt cook for 5 to 6 whistles on medium high flame Now this is another product from Amazon which my mother bought. It can hold the foil paper or cling film roll and is very convenient to use. There are types that hold tissue roll. This didn't have. I love fixing furnitures or any other. But here I took the help of my father to drill on the wall to make it right. There's a blade and that helps to cut it neat. We have a smokeless oven inside home, but outside home we have a very traditional oven where my mom uses for frying fish. It's to avoid the fish smell that would get locked inside home. It's very convenient to use this type of oven. The drawback is the smoke that makes the wall and ceiling covered in black. Mash the jackfruit once it's cooked. Unaware of me taking the video of the jackfruit dish, my mom added the rest of the ingredients. Now let me just brief it here. My mom made a ground paste of coconut, shallots, green chilies and cumin seeds. Once it's added to the mixture, heat for some time then later temper it with mustard seeds popped in coconut oil along with curry leaves and dried red chilies i shall give the steps in the description box so that it's easy to follow as there isn't any video of the recipe while nesri was busy cleaning the kitchen i went for doing the laundry We put the clothes for drying in the terrace and it's very convenient. Even if it rains, we don't have to run for the clothes unlike when we put outside. That's a bucket full of clothes taken down for folding which is the worst part. That's the jackfruit dish and it's tasty. On this day we had rice porridge, dry fish and the jackfruit dish. I was free and wanted to do some craft works and I know my mom will have something for me. There was aluminum foil which had gone bad. It had a change in color making it not good for using for food. But mom had kept it as such without throwing away for some craft work. And I began to do the wall decor I have done a video on. There was some curry left over from breakfast and mom prepared ghee rice for dinner. For me ghee rice is very boring. So I thought of adding some more ingredients making it like a masala rice. If you have watched my previous video the chicken pan pizza and in that I had added capsicum. These are the leftover capsicum which was kept in the fridge. So made use of it for the rice I'm preparing. I had already chopped two small onions and kept aside. 
you will need some chopped garlic some chopped ginger some sliced green chilies the quantities are added in the description box mix the rice with a fork separating grains from each other heat some vegetable oil firstly goes in the chopped ginger garlic and green chilies mix till the rice melts goes or you see the garlic and ginger turn color to light brown add chopped onion and mix till soft and translucent then chop in two large tomatoes give a mix now this is optional adding two chicken cubes give a mix keep on low flame and cover it don't forget to give a mix in between so that it doesn't burn once the tomatoes are soft add the chopped capsicum mix well just for the color add turmeric powder and to enhance the flavor add little garam masala powder finally before adding rice add enough chopped coriander leaves mix well then goes in the cooked rice or the ghee rice add little at a time and mix lastly add soy sauce give a good mix here i didn't add any salt as it was added while cooking the rice the chicken cubes and soy sauce already had salt in it so it was perfectly balanced spread evenly cover the pot and keep on very low flame for 10 minutes and it's dinner time My father, husband and elder brother had other engagements so they were out and wasn't there for dinner from home. This rice in fact didn't need any curry. Just a papad, pickle or curd is enough. It's simple yet very flavorful. Do try this. Next day we were leaving back home. So mom insisted on preparing something for lunch and dinner together so that we don't spend the whole day cooking. I suggested to cook biryani because that's always a comfort food yet we can prepare in large quantity. And anything to be prepared in large quantity would be cooked on the smokeless oven. It's fried chicken biryani and I do have a recipe done earlier. We'll again share the link in the description box. since no major cooking had to be done for dinner i wanted to prepare something which i had been thinking from a very long time it's momos i just love momos but was not confident enough to prepare it thinking of shaping it well anyway give a try now chicken momos are prepared or steamed with raw minced chicken but i fear that my parents might not like the taste when it's cooked that way 
I had already kept some chicken pieces in a small bowl from what was needed for biryani. Added that to a pressure cooker to cook faster. To that added crushed ginger, some chili sauce, soy sauce, salt, crushed black pepper and some water. Cook for 3 whistles on medium flame if your chicken needs more time to cook. Otherwise, just one whistle is enough. Again using mom's stand mixer. Many of you had been asking this in my previous video. This is Philips brand. I have said this before too. They have stopped the production of this model and I don't know what's the reason. I shall link below any good brands or models if I find any. You basically need the strong spiral blade and it does the work really well. This is maida. Add some salt. Knead with water to form a dough for the dumplings or the momos. Rest the dough till needed or at least 20 minutes. The chicken is cooked. Take out the pieces and remove the bones from it. using a grinder to crush the pieces heat some oil saute chopped onion green chilies and coriander leaves if you're using raw minced chicken you can use raw veggies too I am just heating the onion mix to remove the water content in it. Cook for two three minutes and that's all. Add that to the chicken. Add some soy sauce and crushed black pepper. Add salt if needed. Mix well and keep aside. I didn't want to throw this water which is full of flavor so I used it for preparing the chutney for momos. I know this is not the exact way but why throw away this water and why not try a different version because it's guaranteed it will taste good with the stock. Slit two large tomatoes and add to the stock. This is to remove the skin. Take out the dough and knead well for a minute add some flour. When this starts boiling, add dry red chilies. Now I switched off the camera just to learn the folding of momos. Initially, it wasn't easy at all, especially the round shape. This is my first attempt and finally me and Nasri succeeded in folding this way. Now it's easy. The pleat has to be proper and you get very cute momos. And yes, practice makes a man perfect. I will definitely learn other ways very soon. Momos are my favorite and I'm happy that now I'm able to fold it well in one way. I know different types of sauce you can cook momos in, but all I wanted was to learn the folding first. Now I can share those with you all and I will do it shortly. The stock has evaporated a bit. Remove the skin of the tomatoes and add the rest to the blender. Blend well and that's the chutney. So these are the first ones me and Nisri tried. Not in good shape. And these are the ones after practicing for quite some time. We badly wanted to make it done hence didn't quit and we did it Steam for 15 to 20 minutes And this Chinook after a week stay in her home 
It's sad that I was leaving that night since my stay with parents was not planned. I had lots of work pending to be done back home. I had no other choice than leaving. And kids had school works and tuition the next day. The momos are ready. Momos taste the best soon after steaming, so don't eat it cold. Have it hot with a spicy chutney. And that ends for today's vlog. Do try the recipes and let me know your feedback. If you loved today's video, don't forget to share among your friends and families. Stay safe everyone. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.